This video is the first in a series that I hope to do based on the pieces in uh, a book that uh, Pulse of Musica are publishing, the Ten Pieces for Field Drum, a collection of pieces that I have written over the years. Uh, I want to explain something about each of the pieces. And in this first piece, uh, I think the interesting part about it is the uh, relationship between some of the individual rudiments in their original context and the way that they're used in this piece. So I'd like to explain that to you. Today, when drummers learn about the historical rudiments, if they learn about them at all, they tend to learn them as abstract technical exercises that can be mastered as a sticking and accent pattern and then used anywhere. And of course, you can use them anywhere. Uh, but they all have a history, and that history has to do with using them in very specific contexts. In earlier times, uh, drummers generally did not know how to read any kind of notation, and notation didn't develop until fairly late for rudimental drumming. So drummers would learn rudiments with very specific contexts for them, and then you could put them together uh, as a string of rudiments, and that would make a musical phrase. I'll give you an example of that from the Massachusetts collection of martial music. The flame accent, we know, is a common rudiment. And historically, that was always used in 6-8 meter um, uh, as eighth notes in a march. So I'll improvise a fairly plausible uh, eight bars or so of a 6-8 march in the historical style. That's the way the flame accent would have been used. In another rudiment that's common in all the old books is the double drag, also used in 6 eights, but almost always in a a kind of subgenre of 6 8 marches. Uh, they're called, in, in the old books, they're almost always called a double drag beat. And there are strings of double drags mixed together with a few rolls and the occasional rattamacue. And that, um, in, it's with slight variations, that's a very common form. And these kinds of beats are also connected with the uh, uh, Ravelli and Takwak beats of the French and Swiss drummers also. So I think it's quite an old kind of rudiment, and it's always used in these 6-8 double drag beats. I'll give you an example of a double drag beat. That's a fairly typical kind of double drag beat. 